Welcome everybody, this is your boy Gerardo Matero and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody. Now this video is all about on how to install the Dodge Challenger Vehicle mod inside your Grand Theft Auto B folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Don't forget to scroll down and find the DRC packs code over here. Copy that code and now open up a notepad and now just paste the code inside your notepad. Delete up to here. Go to the D and delete that side over here and just minimize your notepad. First, go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Next, go to your mods folder, go to your update folder, go to your time 64 folder, go to your DRC packs folder, and open up your Dodge extract folder and now go to this folder over here and now you can pick either which one you want it's totally up to you but I'm going to choose this one over here and now select that folder and now drag it inside your DRC packs folder and now exit out of your extract folder and exit out of your game folder. Right click refresh your desktop and now next go to your open IV, open up your open IV, go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. Now next once your application is open select edit mode, select yes, go to your mods folder Go to update, go to update.rpf, go to common, go to data, scroll right down to the bottom until you see drclist.xml. Hover over it, right click and edit. Scroll right down to the bottom and I'll just copy the last code. And now paste the code inside your notepad. Copy this code and now delete this code over here. And now replace. Now copy this code and paste it inside your text editor and save. Now go to edit mode, exit out of your open IV, and now that's all you got to do. Now next, let's go into the game, and I will see you guys in the game. And now we are in the game with Franklin. So once you're in the game, okay, like what I said before, you must install all the requirements. So the requirements that you will need is Simple Trainer or Minio. So I'll be spawning the vehicle using Simple Trainer. So press F3 to open up your Simple Trainer. And now using your num pads, okay, going down to vehicle spawning. Then go right down the bottom to edit vehicle menu. And now you'll see the vehicle right there. And now there you go. Now the vehicle does look plain and simple, okay? You can modify it, okay, using 
uh, any simple trainer or any trainer, okay? But I like to use menu. It's much more easier. So press F8, okay? And then I'll press F8 again. And now go to uh, vehicle options. Then go to uh, menu customs. And now you can customize your vehicle. 2,000 years later. And now there goes your vehicle. Uh, so it doesn't have to be like mine, okay? But that's the mod, okay guys? So I hope you do enjoy using your vehicle mod. And now we're back again. So I hope you guys do enjoy using your mod. But like always, if you do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments below. And I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods from GTA V or Cyberpunk, then let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. Unfortunately, I'm not active inside my YouTube comments. I am more active inside my Discord server. So join my Discord server. I will leave my Discord server link inside my description below. So go and check that out. So with that all said, if you guys did enjoy this video, or if this video was helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I will see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. And I'm out.